Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing how to roll back a Windows 10 build to the previous version. Specifically, in this case, we're going to be going over how to revert back from the anniversary update build. So I'm aware that I'm a little late to the party on this, but I just thought I would make a brief tutorial about it for anybody who's still waiting to update or or it's already updated but further builds have come along and you'd like to revert back to previous ones. So generally you have I believe 10 days to roll back the anniversary update build to previous versions. However, just a general update, I don't believe you have to worry about that time limit. So anyway, we're going to just jump right into it here guys. So we're going to start by heading over to our start button and we're going to left click on it. Then we're going to left click on settings. And then we're going to left click on the update and security tile. And then we're going to go over to recovery and left click on that. And now we see there's an option that says go back to an earlier build. If this build isn't working for you, try going back to an earlier one. When the next build is ready, we'll install it. So left click on this get started button right here. Okay, so if you want to provide information about why you're going back, you can. If not, you can just say for another reason and then click on next. Alright, and then it says check for updates. Before you go back, try installing the latest updates. This might fix the problems you're having with Windows 10. Disregard that and left click on no thanks. And this is what you need to know. This might take a while and you won't be able to use your PC until it's done. Leave your PC plugged in and turn on. After you go back, you will have to reinstall some apps and programs, and you'll lose any changes made to settings after installing the latest build. After your files are backed up, it should not affect them, but it's best to be prepared. So definitely try to back up any important documents or files you want to save before going back. And then left click on Next. And this is Don't Get Locked Out. If you use the password or sign into your previous build, make sure you know it. So if you've changed your password since you have last installed a new Windows 10 build, you're going to have to revert back to that one. So just make sure you're aware of that. And then left click on Next. And then it says, thanks for trying out this build. We'll install the next preview build when it's available. So at this point, you can left click and go back to an earlier build. And Windows will start reverting back to the previous build. So I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out. And I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.